you know what? Just like the name. I'm gonna say thank you. Next. I never want to see you again. everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel Jenny is here and today I'm gonna give you the very honest review regarding some cheap and affordable fragrances that I just got recently to be honest I don't mean to give you guys short of very strong or negative or positive ideas regarding that just how I truly feel so if you are interested to know what I think please keep watching and if you like video, please like or subscribe to see my newest video are coming soon. Thank you very much and let's get started. I just recently picked up Sunday from Justin Bieber. To be honest, I feel very surprised to know that Justin Bieber also had the fragrance. But I really like the design of this one a lot. This one has shot a very very cute pink rose cap with the blue petals in the bottle caught my attention right away. This one is really suitable for teens because of the young and optimistic feeling together with the very delicious fruity woman scent. However, this one smells like the body lotion or the sour chan to me. So apart from the design, I'm not impressed with the smell because it smells so familiar with the skincare products. So even the design look really cute and adorable. More than that, the smell doesn't last for so long. Speaking of letdowns, the second fragrance is Ari and I rent. Thank you, next. You know what? Just like the name. I'm gonna say thank you, next. I never wanna see you again. Seriously, you know why? Because this one smells like freaking vegetable. Can you believe it? The fragrance smell like vegetable? I know it sounds hilarious, but it was my first impression with this one. I'm not gonna recommend it, even if you are the fan of Ariana Ranch and want to support your idol. To be honest, I never had shot a feeling like that with Tiger Ends fragrances. This is the most expensive in the affordable fragrance that I'm reviewing today. However, it's not worth the money for the quality and the unit design at all. I rather it doesn't have such a cheap plastic broken hairs like this, but invest more for the bottle designs as well as the cap. Then it might be worth the money in some way. In the list is also the one I just mentioned recently in my other videos if you already watch it. So don't forget to talk about the pretty spear midnight fantasy. This is one of my top 5 Swiss fragrances ever. Unlike the other two, this one doesn't smell like body lotion or sour gel. I'm so surprised how much I like this one. In fact, I'm really impressed with the fruity floral scents of this fragrance. Of course, it doesn't smell luxurious or sophisticated, but still very sweet, fruity, a little bit fresh and powdery from many different types of flowers and fruit. Personally, I feel this one is very sexy, seductive, really good for youngers with a very affordable price. Especially this one is super super long lasting. I'm so surprised because of how long it lasts for. The next one really struck me seeing her a lot of beauty bloggers said this one is resemble a very expensive perfume from Baccarat Rouge 540. To be honest, I have never smelled Baccarat Rouge before but see many people talk about it so I might want to try it one day. But now I'm talking about the Ari and Nat Ultra Perfume, quality and size, the design of the bottle really bothers me. As you can see, this is such a cheap looking plastic cloud, like a toy for children. And the plastic cap is not of any better, the bottle is super simple. Compared with the Midnight Fantasy from Britney Spears and Someday from Justin Bieber, this one has such a very ugly design, especially when it tripled the price to compare with the other two. Okay, let's talk about the smell. To me, this one is not impressive. It's a very light, very soft, a little bit creamy and powdery, but I 
don't think this one lasts very long I think this one is very very tender and to be honest there's nothing about this one really can impress me on the plus side this one doesn't smell like skincare or hair care products I mean, it doesn't smell very cheap. This one smells pleasant and can be decent in almost all occasions. So the last one in the list is the one come from Italy. It belongs to Accolina, an Italian cosmetic brand. This is the pink sugar. I think this one is really make up for the winter. But during summer and spring, the main notes of sugar, vanilla, and caramel will be too intense and too overpowering. And definitely not for people who like fresh, clean, and pleasant smell. Just be careful because sometimes too much of it can cause headache and make other people around you will feel unpleasant. But for me, I'm okay with that. Since I'm a fan of Swiss fragrances, I'm very impressed with how long lasting this perfume is, almost for a whole day, with a race for affordable price. What these fragrances have in common is an affordable price fits well with thin budget and style and all the smells are useful and beautiful apart from the Ariana run thank you next oh my god yep. personally I like the Midnight Fantasy from Britney Spears and the Pink Sugar from Aqualina the most if you like the video and see it useful please click like and subscribe to see my newest video are coming soon thank you very much and have a good day bye bye